Annie Britton and I were ordained by the Church Within a Church Movement October 19, 2008. Now, three years later, Church Within a Church Movement is finding a second ordination in a Methodist tradition minus the closet. Since my ordination, I have discovered that being a part of the body of the Church Within a Church Movement gives life and centering to a vocation in the ministry of love and justice. Now, having the tradition of ecumenical ordination to Christian ministry extended and accepted by others gives breadth and depth to the spiritual life in the movement of inclusivity and justice. In the second ordination planned for Church Within a Church's National Conference, Living Justice in the Wilderness, October 21st and 23rd, 2011, we are continuing and expanding the Church Within a Church ministry. We are reaching out further to offer hope and realized connection to the source of life with people, regardless of sexual orientation, gender expression, gender identity, race, ethnicity, class, or age. People who are too often denied love and justice. By ordaining two more candidates, we are expanding our ministry, serving lives lived precariously on the edge. This October, Delyn and Robin are prepared to stand and accept ordination because they have been inspired by God's call on their lives. Church Within a Church and their ecumenical partners realize God's call on these lives. To those who would deny ordination, to Delyn and Robin, to those who have said no, we who are church within a church faithfully say yes. Come to Tucson. Be part of the yes. Be part of the ecumenical group of lay members and ministers. Join family and friends. Be one of those of us who will surround Robin and Delyn as their calling to ministry is affirmed and their lives dedicated to a ministry of love and justice. I believe it is nothing short of a miracle in this day that while we fear hate crimes due to religious intolerance, we have this opportunity to stand firm and be part of affirming credentials to Christian ministry in love and justice and to commission those who would accept to serving lives lived precariously on the edge. God opens a door, and we in faith, awe and with breathless anticipation, step out into life. Come to Tucson. Be part of the yes.